द क्वेश्चन इज द आई यू पैक नेम ऑफ द कॉम्प्लेक्स दिस इज द कॉम्प्लेक्स गेम ऑन हियर लेट मी राइट इट वी हैव के फोर क्लोज ब्रैकेट एफ ई एंड दिस इज सी एन होल सिक्स इज देयर ओके फॉर दिस कॉम्प्लेक्स वी हैव टू डू द नेमिंग ऑलवेज कीप इन माइंड बिफोर नेमिंग द कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑलवेज डिटर्मिन इफ द सेंट्रल एलिमेंट इज प्रेजेंट इन द कैटैनिक पार्ट और इन द एनाइनिक पार्ट बिकॉज इफ द सेंट्रल एलिमेंट इज प्रेजेंट इन द कैटैनिक पार्ट we name it as the common name given in the periodic table but if the central element is present in the cantonic part then we use the special name okay so now you can see we can break this complex from here this is the counter and first one is what past two part and remaining portion will be the negative part so you can see the central element is present in the negative part means we have to use the special name this is iron and the name will be ferrite okay order of naming of the complex we have number of ligands okay number of ligands then we have type of ligand then we have central metal atom and then we have the oxidation number of the central metal atom to be written in roman numbers okay so first of all we name it cationic part followed by anionic part okay so cationic is what potassium is there first of all we write potassium keep in mind you should not mention tetra potassium okay for we are getting by balancing the charge like for example if i say it is what k2so4 is there we do not say dipotassium sulfate because two we are getting by balancing the charge it is potassium sulfate only so similarly we have to write only potassium for the counter ion and so number does not matter we do not include the numbers very interesting next this is the complex part and we can follow this order to name it okay so first of all number of ligands only one type of ligand is there how many ligands six so we can mention this is hexa okay this is cyanide ion it is a negative ligand and the naming for this cyanide ion is what cyano or cyanido so i can mention this is what cyanido cyanido okay so ligand naming is also done then after that we have central metal atoms so since this central metal atom is present in the anionic part in the anionic part so we use its special name that is what ferrite it is ferrite is there and then we have to write the oxidation number oxidation number we can calculate okay so potassium is always how many potassium four and each potassium is what plus one then for iron we have to calculate oxidation number and then how many cyanide ion six and each cyanide ion is what minus one we have c and minus it carries minus 1 charge and this is a neutral complex is equal to 0 we have plus 4 plus iron is there minus 6 is equal to 0 from here we get iron minus 2 is equal to 0 and then from here we get if is equal to present in plus 2 oxidation number oxidation number of the central element is written in roman number so we write 2 is there okay so name of the complex we get potassium hexa cyanido it should be cyanido hexa cyanido ferrite second any option given here let me check first potassium hexa cyanido ferrite second you can see first option is correct